The cost of inflation that we have seen in the previous chapters, in particular the cost of expected inflation and unexpected inflation, are particularly high when the economy experiences very intense level of inflation. So when inflation is very high, when inflation is lower than 10%, the cost that we've discussed before are much smaller and the actual size is actually on open debate. We mentioned earlier in the chapter that money should not have real effects in the long run. In this set of slides, we are going to discuss an exception, in particular an exception in presence of hyperinflation. Now, hyperinflation is defined as inflation that exceeds 50% per month. One of the principles of macroeconomics is that prices rise when the government prints too much money. And it is always the case that hyperinflation is just consequence of excessive money growth. Now, an example of excessive money growth and hyperinflation was in Germany in the last century, the beginning of the last century, in particular in 1923. And some of the historians deem this hyperinflation at the basis of the rise of the Nazi party in Germany. So here we can see real consequences of hyperinflation. That is, the destabilization that arises from the fact that Hyperinflation makes money completely useless. Look at instance at these kids that are actually playing with the money, cutting the money. Here you can see playing with the money and piling all this money together. Here you see a sir that is going around to the bank with this pile of money. The money does not have value anymore. Then we go back to a barter economy. This creates a lot of political instability that actually may rise existence to the Nazi party in the last century. Okay, now the question is why governments create hyperinflation? That's the real question. And the reason is that when the government cannot uh, finance its expenditure by raising taxes or selling bonds, in this case, the only solution the government has is to increase, basically, uh, to finance the spending by uh, money supply, by increasing the money supply. So in theory, there is a solution to hyperinflation, which is stop printing money. But it's very difficult in the short term because it requires the government to change its habits and it might enter basically in a painful fiscal restraint. Alternatively, what the government can do is that uh, renounce to the control of its own money supply and instead basically exchange its currency for another currency. This is a phenomenon sometimes referred to as dollarization. So when the tax revenue are not adequate, if the government cannot raise taxes or uh, basically uh, issue bond, then the government may print money to pay its spending. So the revenue from printing money is actually called inflation tax and is a tax on everyone that holds money. We rem which remember most of them are criminals. So the revenue that is raised from printing money is called seniorage and in the United States is basically expected to be around 3%, estimated to be around 3%, 3% of the total revenue. And basically with this we have concluded chapter 17. Thanks for watching.